Hi, everybody. Welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. It is Friday, July 26th. Hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend in store, and we're going to talk a little baseball as series begin right before the trade deadline. If you haven't made a decision as to whether you're a buyer or seller yet, maybe this week will provide some clarification. And I think the Nationals had in mind that they will be indeed sellers. Uh, Finnegan, their closer, is on the market, as are a couple of other players. So we'll see what happens with them this weekend. But coming off being no hit by Dylan Cease, there's certainly very little momentum to speak of from Washington as they visit St. Louis at Bush Stadium for a three-game set that the Padres' victory in D.C. gives them a slight edge on the Cardinals by a half a game in the race for the final NL wildcard spot. So St. Louis uh, looking to get hot. They come in as minus 165 favorites for this series opener. Washington at plus money at plus 146 with a total set at seven and a half. The Cardinals are 53 and 49, while the Nationals come in at 47 and 56. So for starters, we're going to ride the high side here. That is our full play. So the uh, Cardinals and Nationals have a number set at seven and a half because cards a Sonny Gray is on the mound and Mackenzie Gore has been pretty good this season up until lately. So the lefty who was acquired in the Juan Soto deal, among other key uh, prospects from San Diego, uh, has uh, performed well or had performed well up until about the last six contests. And we're going to talk about that and the role that it plays and why we like the high side here. Gore comes in with a 6-8 and eight record, a 4.20 ERA, and a 1.46 whip. He struck out 118 batters in 102 thirds innings. But you're uh, crazy if you ride the high side on his K-prop, even though he's very capable of striking out a number of Cardinals hitters because he has not completed a full six innings in any of his last six starts. And he's allowed 22 runs, 20 earned over his last 25 and two thirds innings. He comes off his shortest start of the season, being pulled by Dave Martinez last Saturday after throwing 67 pitches to get through his first two frames, 37 strikes, 30 balls, he had four walks and gave up three runs on two hits over his first two innings. He threw seven straight balls to start the game and needed 48 pitches just to get out of the first. So uh, this came against Cincinnati. And the, po the problem with uh, riding Gore here is that I think he'll look to throw strikes first and foremost. And if the Cardinals are on him early, uh, we could see a quick exit and runs early. And that's why I, I would not advise a no runs first inning play on this contest, even with Sonny Gray on the mound, because I think the priority for Mackenzie Gore will be to throw strikes. So Mason Wynn can get the card started uh, early by getting on base and then wreaking havoc on the base paths. Uh, he walked five and allowed five earned runs on six hits. Last time he saw the Cardinals, in just over three innings in an eventual 14 to six Washington win. So that's another thing about Gore. He's got a six and eight record, but it could be much worse if the Nationals had not bailed him out with a couple of strong offensive performances of late. And Sonny Gray has been struggling too. He's 10 and six with a 3.54 ERA and a whip of a 1.06, which is pretty impressive. He struck out 131 hitters and walked just 24 in 106 and two thirds innings this season. And he's six and four with a 2.14 ERA. So it's very understandable why the Cardinals would be a heavy favorite in the 165 range against the Nats. Uh, they've been pretty good at home as well. So if you want to ride the money line, that's a little juicy. Um, so I would say go ahead and play the first five run line, lay the half a run, keep the bullpens out of it, and uh, and then you have a uh, you know decent situation in terms of the juice laying that half run um, with the Cardinals at home. And again, I'm expecting Gore to struggle, but Sonny Gray, no sure thing. He's been shaky over his last four starts. He's allowed 19 runs, 16 earned, um, and this, despite striking out 28 and walking just two. So that tells me 
that uh, opponent, opposing hitters have been locating his pitch as well and barreling up. He had given up just 14 runs, 12 earned, over his previous seven starts before this rough patch. So clearly, he's fighting through some stuff. He gave up five runs on eight hits and a home run to Luis Garcia Jr. when he saw the uh, Nationals in July. So this is a situation where the Nationals uh, had lost three out of four this season to the Cardinals. It was The series was played July 5th through the 8th in D.C. The Cardinals won three of four, like I said, losing the second game 14 to 6, but outscoring the Nationals in the three wins 20 to 10. So high scoring there, and I think high scoring tonight with the total set at 7.5, we're riding the over on runs for the full game between the Cardinals and the Nationals. And if you want some hitter props, Wilson Contreras is 4 for 7 uh, against Mackenzie Gore. I think he's a, a solid bet for runs, hits, and RBIs. Dylan Carlson, two for three with two home runs. We'll see if he's a Cardinal past the trade deadline. Norlin Arenado, who's been hitting the ball well of late, two for four against uh, Gore. And Brendan Donovan is three for five. In fact, the Cardinals are 15 for 33 over their careers uh, against Gore. That's a 455 batting average. They've homered twice and driven in nine. So, uh, Looking to get back on track. This is a rough assignment for Gore. Uh, as far as the Nationals, seeing Graywell, Kiebert Ruiz, two for three with a home run. Garcia's two for six with the aforementioned home run. And Jesse Winker is three for six. Current Nats are hitting 353 against Gray. So that's why we like the high side over seven and a half. It's a client play. You're welcome. Let's knock it home like we did the other night in our last MLB uh, total play, which was the Blue Jays and Rays. Uh, I believe, on Wednesday. Smash that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe to all our videos here at Wager Talk TV. Take advantage of our early bird special for football that gets you uh, both college and pro. And if you sign up for the full season, you get the rest of MLB for free. So I plan on smashing college of football and NFL this season. So get on board. I've been doing really well in baseball and international soccer and the WNBA when it comes back. So let's uh, look at my packages and uh, check out my deals at WT, uh, pardon me, uh, sm.buzz slash TDM. Uh, that's where you can read my bio and check out all my packages and streaks. Uh, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro, with the spelling down there below. Pulverize that like button. Follow all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV by making sure you're subscribed and have a wonderful, profitable weekend. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.